it was a great day. It's a um, really competitive day. It's really neat to see our kids improve from first scrimmage to this scrimmage, and especially some individuals. Taj Washington, I thought that it had a hell of a day. Uh, really made plays all over the field. Thought all three quarterbacks did some nice things today. A couple mistakes, a couple mistakes that we'll learn from off tape. Uh, offensive line really, I thought, took a step forward uh, in this in this scrimmage. And now it's been a great camp. Um, these guys will start class on Monday. Uh, we will go to Wednesday. We'll go to Wednesday and get a couple, one more physical practice, and then we'll start San Jose State uh, on Wednesday. So we got two good days of practice left and then uh, get going on Wednesday for San Jose. With that, I'll take any questions you got. Looked like Drake Jackson was having his shoulder looked at by the training staff and brace on. Is that what's going on with him? Uh, Drake's good. I mean, he, he, was, he went the whole time today. Uh, just bumps and bruises of camp. He's been a warrior uh, all the way through. It's been really hard to block, to be honest with you. And uh, has had a, since coming back, has really showed out. He's made our tackles a lot better. Uh, I can tell you that, that iron sharpens iron and having him on the edge, Corey, Nick Figueroa, Hunter Eccles, those guys, man, they've done a really nice job in this camp and uh, have made us a lot better. But he's in, he's in a good place. What clarity do you have on the offensive tackle spots? Um, I, you know, I, I think that we've got two more days left, Ryan. I, I think we've kind of settled in on right and left. You've probably seen that but for yourselves. Um, you know, but we're going to go grade this tape. we got another really physical practice on Tuesday. That's our last one before we really put in game plan, and we'll, hun we'll hunker in to kind of where we're at. But I think we've really got a good feel for where we are for the right and left sides and, you know, those eight to ten guys that are really ready to go play football. So um, we'll get through on Tuesday uh, and then kind of settle in. But uh, the, the last two scrimmages and this last week, the four full pad live sessions have really, you know, made us feel good uh, about uh, some guys that are ready to go play. You see this on Casey Collier's status? Yeah, Casey's, Casey's here. He's actually uh, he's actually um, in the weight room right now. Uh, he's lost some weight and we're building that back up uh, and uh, uh, is in a good place. He was with us last night uh, at our practice and just really getting him uh, some strength uh, and building him back up. But uh, is, uh, is in a good place right now. What's the status of the quarterback? Battle as, as right now. Yeah, you know, obviously uh, nine's a starter, and uh, then we've got a, another Tuesday practice to look at the young kids, and then just like the offensive line, kind of settle in on, on where we're at moving forward uh, for San Jose. Was it part of the plan to get Keaton a lot of reps that did not involve Drake London? on the field today? Uh, he, no, it, it was the plan to get him a lot of reps. You know, in the first in the first scrimmage, we really needed to see where the two young kids were at and get them some live live play. We really made a commitment, as you all saw in practice this week, uh, to really drop really the scale and do, go live bullets the whole time to grow, grow all three of them and get them ready for game action. Uh, and then it was good to see both kids uh, come out here uh, today, uh, to both young kids. I thought they improved from you know scrimmage one to now. Uh, I thought they managed uh, managed the game uh, a lot better uh, and it was good to get nine. No, Drake, uh, you know, Drake has played a lot of reps in, in this camp um, and uh, had a, has a little bit of an ankle from this week, um, nothing major, uh, but our plan was to bring him in the first two series of this game uh, and get him a lather and then shut him down. And so that was the plan coming in. I thought he did it very effectively, competed his butt off and probably mad at me because I took him out for a little bit, but I want to get him healthy going into next week. It seems like the offense had a few more explosive plays in mm -hmm. the scrimmage than they did in the last one. Mm -hmm. How do you feel just about the offense in general? Yeah, I, I, Ryan, I thought it was they were more in rhythm today. And that usually comes as you go through camp, you start playing those, I, I think the live game action that we've had really four live practices, you know, this week has really improved there. Uh, and then, you know, you saw explosive runs today, which was great to see. It wasn't just in the pass game. Uh, it was it, There were explosive runs by 23 and 25, and, and uh, it was neat to get them in the action. Um, so it, it was good to see. I just felt overall we were more in rhythm, and I thought our whole team, even special teams, looked a lot better today. So I thought our whole team took a step forward, and that's what you want from a good team. I told them out there, each practice, each game, you want to see a team improve from day one all the way through the season.
the 2021 guys made a lot of plays today. Now the camp's technically over. What have you thought about how they've come along? Uh, I tell you what, it was neat to see those young young DBs. Jalen Smith making a really nice play. Prophet Brown at the end of the game making a really nice play. Talking about two kids that had been uh, offensive and defensive players in high school, and they displayed their ball skills today. So um, it was neat to obviously uh, Ray John made a not really nice play uh, inside the 10 yard. It's one on one tackle with him and the running back, and really did a nice job getting down. Corey provided edge pressure as he always as he always does today. Michael Trigg made another big play down the middle of the field in two minutes. So, you know, th those guys are going to you know be contributors for us this year, and that's you know that's what we always say coming here. And best best players always going to play, and as those kids grow, they're going to garner bigger roles, and uh, they've really improved from practice one to you know. Have basically uh, halfway through here before we play. Where do you feel like the run game is at? We didn't see a ton of runs today. Confident to feel today, or? Yeah, what I saw today, Chuck, and like you saw, I love, like I said before, I love the the explosive runs, and then I loved uh, the efficiency on third and short and in the, in the five yard line uh, when the ball was handed off. Uh, obviously, uh, the time clock at the end, the game situation dictated throws, but when the ball was run uh, in those short yardage goal line areas, uh, we were very efficient. So I thought that was a step forward today. So wanted to see some explosive runs, wanted to continue to build that short yardage goal line package, and I thought it went well today. You said you wanted to get Keaton a bunch of extra reps today. Yeah. When, when you haven't had a chance to look at the film yet, yeah. but just off the top of your head, did you see anything today from him that kind of surprised you? Uh, you know, I, I thought it was about 95% really good, and there was 5%. There was probably two or three things that jumped out at me that I know he'll say the same thing as soon as I see him, uh, and we'll look at the tape. Uh, but. Uh, I thought he played like a vet today. He managed, I, I thought he managed a two minute drive ex extremely well. He's done that before. Um, and he really put us in a good situation. I thought he threw a heck of a ball on second down out in the flat that really should have had a chance to be a touch a touchdown there. Um, but uh, I, I thought he played like a vet. There were, there were probably about three snaps that trigger in my brain. I can't wait to talk to him about. But uh, he really stepped forward. I really, from practice one to right now, he looks like he's getting really good chemistry. Uh, with the wide outs. Where are you? Uh, no, he's a talented kid. I, I know that he'll be fine. Where do you feel like you are in terms of assessing the wide receiver uh, rotation? Um, I, you know, I, again, that's one group I want to see at least one more practice because we're getting some kids back too. You saw Kyron, you know, where Hudson out there today, he's finally healthy. Uh, we're really close, I think, to getting Gary back. He's right there on the edge. You know, it, it may be this week or maybe one more week. We'll, we'll see where, where that's at. Um, but you, you're getting some kids healthy at that. You know, we're trying to find those other options other than 1-5. And I thought today, like I said earlier, I thought Taj really stepped forward. Uh, and, and did that for us and, and really showed himself as a guy that can be an every down guy and made some great plays and made great yards after catch. It was neat getting him over here. He struggled in the first scrimmage, uh, and, which his place can do to you sometimes. And then his comfort level was just night and day today. So we got to find more of those guys that are, are in that position. Kyle Ford was another one that I thought made some nice plays both in scrimmage one and now. Um, and we'll keep growing some young guys uh, up. Uh, but I think we'll settle into that. That too deep, you know, kind of settle in that rotation by Wednesday. How much rotation do you imagine the game is with that group? Um, I, I think it's going to be by position, you, you know. Really, you know, when it, Drake is a high rep count guy, you, you know, but he's going to he's going to need air at some point in time, and then there'll be maybe other positions that are 50-50, you know, it's depending on who it is and how their production's going and their health and, and things like that. But I, I do see, I do think it's a little bit different than we were last year when you had really four true veterans out there. Um, you're probably going to have to have a little bit more rotation maybe at the other three positions. Drake will probably be the high rep count guy, and, and we'll see where we go. And as guys gain confidence and they're producing, then they'll, they'll garner maybe a, a larger role. But I, I see us using uh, a multitude of guys early uh, as we settle in. One day you said that this would be the most physical I, one more, a little bit louder. Okay, you said that this would be the most physical week, and yep. that you would try to find the two deep. Um, 
how would you assess the, the week as a whole? And are there yeah. any positions where you still feel like you're going to need more time? Yeah, when, when your team goes out there and has four live contact days, four really physical tackling days, and a scrimmage at the end, and their attitude is to come out here and compete like you saw saw in every play, big play they're running down, they're exciting. This team is really bonded together. Uh, I think they have a, a high level of toughness. Uh, we will continue to work uh, work and, and uh, discipline-wise, a couple flags out there today, mostly hand fouls uh, that, that we need to improve on, uh, but then the unitedness by the kids. You can see the bond that they have. So I love where we're at. Now, we've got, we've got basically two opportunities this Tuesday and next Tuesday, our last two live tackle days that we're allowed to have by rule. Uh, NCAA rule. We're going to use both those opportunities. This Tuesday will be that last kind of polish for your resume uh, before we separate and start uh, working towards San Jose State and have to break off into some service teams. So one more. Where are Keontae and uh, Darwin kind of in their rehab process? And what have you seen from, from the younger guys, Keenan and Brandon? Yeah, we, we, an, we anticipate uh, Darwin and Kia. They were chomping at the bit to get back today, to be honest with you. They were right on the cusp, and because of lack of practice, I wasn't going to throw them out there in the scrimmage. They're going to get uh, a lot of reps. Six, Vavai has gotten a ton of reps <laughs> in this camp. We'll pull him back a little bit and, and let those two guys get a lot of reps this next week, get him fresh, uh, as well as keep continuing to build 25 and 23. Um, I, you know, Brandon showed some nice things today on a couple runs. Short yardage, I thought he did did a nice job. Uh, and then 23, wow, uh, his explosiveness today. You can see 10-3 uh, on the field and, and what his speed, and his speed brings to the table. So uh, he's a guy that obviously has helped us in kick return. He's been a great outside zone space guy and we'll continue to find ways to get him the ball. But I like where both those kids, this was a great scrimmage for them to be able to garner those reps so uh good lord was watching after us we got i really think you know that backfield is really solid you had uh quentin and, and maddie too i mean you, you got some guys back there that have all had a lot of reps in, in college football so a really strong room right now all right all right guys Thanks, have a great bro. weekend Thanks,